I'm Miss Joanne at the Berkeley Library, and today we're going to make veggie pot pie soup. So let's get started. The first thing is you put a nice big pot on the stove and add about a tablespoon of olive oil or vegetable oil, whatever you have on hand. And then it's gonna smell so good in here right away because we add some diced onions. Can you hear that sizzle? Give that a little stir. And we're also gonna add in some broccoli that I cut up earlier. Okay, our broccoli and onions are cooking down nicely. Now we add some more veggies. This is just a frozen mix that I picked up that has corn, string beans, carrots, and I think some lima beans in there. Why not? So we'll add that in. Stir it all up and let these frozen veggies start warming up. Everything's heating up nicely. Now it's time to add some seasonings. We have some garlic powder. Some oregano. some dried mustard, just a little bit of that, some thyme. I have ground thyme, but if you have fresh on hand, that's nice too, just a little bit. And two bay leaves. Drop them in whole, just like that. I'm gonna give it a stir. And now we have a box of veggie stuff. Let the ingredients get to know each other for a little while. While all the veggies and broth and seasonings are mingling, getting to know each other in there, we're gonna work on making our cream base. That starts with taking a small pan, heating up about two tablespoons of butter. Let that get nice and melty. I love watching butter melt in a pan. There's just something satisfying about it. So now that the butter is melted, we're gonna add two tablespoons of flour. Whisk that together. Butter absorbs the flour. Let that cook for a minute. And then we're going to add one cup of milk. Whisk it, pour the milk in nice and slow. Pour the milk in 
a little bit at a time and just keep stirring. Our cream base has come together nicely and now we're going to add it to our big pot of soup. Okay, our cream base is all mixed in. The soup looks and smells great. You can just cook it for a little while longer, let all the flavors really come together. It's definitely all heated through. If you wanted to eat it now and you weren't feeling patient, you could eat it, eat it right now and that would be fine. Also, this is a vegetarian pot pie soup, but if you wanted to add chicken and use chicken broth instead of veggie broth, that's fine. If you didn't like broccoli and you don't want that in there, just add a different vegetable or more of the mixed vegetables. You can do whatever you want to make this your own pot pie soup. I'm really excited. Can't wait for lunchtime. Support public libraries, like, share, and subscribe for more great videos.